Okay, we're on day three of the polyurethane process. This is, it's arduous. It, it takes time to get this thing to dry. 12 hours we have to give it. And, um, you know, everyone's worked very hard. We're not professionals. This is not what we do. But uh, overall, I think everyone's pretty impressed with the results. So today we're gonna put on coat number three, which is gonna involve sanding with 230 grit sandpaper and a pole sander. And just to t mildly scuff up the surface, we'll wipe it down again with paint thinner. We're going to thin the polyurethane uh, more than we did yesterday, so it goes on <clears throat> a little easier for a final coat. And then lock it up uh, tomorrow, Saturday, through what's been a very terrible spring. Besides COVID and the uh, government-induced economic coma we've all been on, we also have had terrible weather. So we're going to start the um, pressure washing and hopefully start touching up the paint and, and getting to work on the outside so that by the time they do open these things up that the, uh, the tenant has put their best foot forward. This is the view that the customer will get when they first walk into the salon. The centerpiece, of course, the fireplace. If you look at uh, the floor in front of that, everything looks really good. There's going to be two workstations, one to the right, one to the left of the fireplace. And uh, it really does look good. And the floor looks pretty solid there. There's enough polyurethane we think to do the protection, although we're still gonna give it a third coat. That's the task lighting for those two workstations. And as we pan around, this is going to be the reception area where the desk is and what the client will initially walk up to before they sign in and uh, be taken to their particular stylist, which we hope there'll be eight here very soon. If you look at the floors and the condition of the floors compared to what we had, they're in excellent shape. I think the ladies worked very hard, did a great job on these. There's a nice shine, and that's not what we were going for. This is a satin finish, so it's still shinier than we'd like it to be. But nonetheless, they had done such a nice job. Areas where there was repairs made when they tore out a wing wall, the uh, help of these, of the wood putty, we were able to make those things just completely, completely disappear. They're gone, and you can almost, you can't tell that that work was done. This is that final shot. And then if you look up, um, again, task lighting, we're gonna add a few cans there to make sure that each station has 1,500 lumens. I don't know what that measurement means, I just know that it's a measurement and it's what's recommended for salons. So again, we're looking forward to finishing this up today. We're going to scuff with some sandpaper and uh, wipe it up with some paint thinner. <clears throat> we'll thin out the polyurethane so it goes on even easier. And then we're done, we move on to the exterior. I figured we'd give some close-ups here of the type of work you're doing. This goes on nice when it's mixed, doesn't it? Yeah. And on a smooth floor. So that is the third and final coat going on. This stuff stinks. But we're just putting it on now in the main salon, which I explained earlier in the video why we call it that. How's it going on, Maggie? Really smooth. Good. I do it fast motion, but everyone was making fun of how fast our feet move. <laughs> so, if I had more followers, we'd be more entertaining. Remember, I need subscribers, so when we go to the village to get some adjustments on the taxes and the bills, we'll have you people standing behind us. So please, like it and subscribe.